a presentation on my assignment of my two data sets which are babies first names in Scotland 2009 and most common names in the US 1990. Uh, we'll concentrate on baby names from Scotland first if we go to my code which is already highlighted up pretty straightforward this one was um, so I'll just run that code anyway it's first observations from out of 4000 which I've got there it'll show you there you go so if we go to that and click run uh, check for any errors, no errors, go to results. Obviously your product contents will be first, which is your first bit of code, showing your observations and variables. From there, I got the first uh, 20 names of boys and girls. Uh, first graph here shows that, but you can, you do need a table of up to decide for that. Just look for uh, boys that equal 375, 325, and the girls that equals to 566. Uh, from there it's pretty straightforward again or they just take the boys it put it into a graph and it's listed them in alphabetical order uh, but with ODS enabled it tells you how many there was on that so you can check back to the table um, but on the scatter graph it puts them in ranking order for you same again with ODS enabled you get the rank number how many there is and the name so it's one 20. Pretty much same with the girls really, exactly the same. Rank 1 to 20, um, alphabetical order. Um, we'll move on to the next data set which was more interesting. As you can see they are ranked in any order because it's uh, done by alphabetical name, uh, alphabetical order only. So there's 4275 uh, observations from that I want to find the uh, first ranks 1 to 20 so to do that if we go back to the code sorry, go back to assignment then back to my code which we'll go down to the bottom here where my other code is for that data set and it's this here we want to run so if I run that first just check on the observations logs, uh, oh, sorry on logs, no errors, results Right, go back to the code quickly. If I had to find the first 20 of uh, first 20 ranks, 1 to 20, out of all of them, be, bear in mind rank 1 could be observation 4000, I found out I could put a where statement in, in my code. So it's wherever rank, rank number between 1 and 20, store it into a table. So if I go back to the results now and just go that, I can just show you that I've managed to do that. Uh, so it's ranked 1 to 20. It is any order, still alphabetical ordered, which you can see in your graph here, which I also use the uh, where statement. But if I show you on the scatter, scatter plot, like we used in the Scotland one, we find out that that did actually put things in uh, rank order. So I've got rank 1 to 20, which I am extremely pleased and surprised about. I was jumping for joy when I managed that. Um, but if I go back up here, go look for rank 1. Mary, rank 1 is Mary. And as you can see, it goes with the trend anyway. Uh, to improve on that, you could pick up each name with a where statement probably and um, find names from both data sets and see whereabouts they both appear on a ranking system. 